Hello, I'm Lou and welcome back to Open Up The Cloud. This is another video in the series about the Cloud Resume Challenge. In this video, we'll actually be covering some things to do with CI, CD and actually deploying infrastructure into AWS. So in the last video, we basically talked a little bit of an instruction about what GitHub Actions is, what CI is and what CD is and how that all fits together. In this video, we're basically taking that stuff a step further and this time we're going to be deploying some infrastructure from GitHub Actions into AWS. Now, this one is a little bit more involved than the last step because we're not just adding files into a GitHub Action workflow. We'll also need to configure some secrets to allow our GitHub Actions or our GitHub Runners to have access to AWS so that it can deploy our resources. But it's just a bit of an extension on from the last video and also we'll talk about dependent resources or sorry, dependent workflows so that we can build more complicated CI pipelines that are dependent on each other so that certain steps will require other steps to be ran before that. But Let's basically just get into it and have a look at it, how that works and just start to see how we can deploy some infrastructure and in AWS from GitHub Actions. Okay, so in the last video, we were going through step 14 CI CD backend. And what we did is we were doing this part here. So set up GitHub Actions so that when you push and update your service application model template or Python code, your Python test gets run. If the tests pass, the same application should get packaged and deployed to AWS. Now this part is the bit that we're going to have a look at today. So let me show you how this is going to work. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to create another job. So last time we had this, this workflow file and let me just close my Explorer for a second. So we had this workflow file and we had this jobs property and inside that we had our tests. And that's what we did as part of the last video. We actually tested the serverless functions that we had using the go test utility. And now in this one, what we actually need to do now is to build our AWS SAM and deploy it. So previously what I was doing, I was doing that locally using the uh, using the make file. But now what we're going to do is convert that those commands into these GitHub Actions workflow. So let me show you how that works. So we've got this new job here called build and deploy infra. And this is the thing here. What we want is we want to only deploy the infrastructure if we know that the other stuff is working. So we want to run our tests first and we want to run our deploy infra after. Now we could sort of chain all of these actions together, sort of one after each other. But this is just a nice clean way where we're going to actually break up these into chunks into these logical jobs. And then we're gonna have them depend on each other. So if we look down here, we've got needs test infra. So what we're saying here is this build and deploy step requires the test infrastructure to be complete. And there's a, there's a nice visual way of seeing this in GitHub, which I'll show you in just a second. And so what we're doing here is we're again, checking out our repo. In this case, we're gonna set up Python because that's required for AWS SAM. We're gonna run this setup SAM uh, GitHub action, and then we're going to configure our AWS credentials. So I'll get to back to this in just a second. And what we're doing in there is we're passing in our, our access key and our secret access key. So now I remember in one of the previous videos, I can't remember which one it was at this point, is we actually originally set up our AWS vault. It probably was maybe even like the second video in the series. Um, if I find that, I'll stick a link somewhere, maybe in the description, or if I can find out how to float it, I can put it up here. And yeah, that was where we grabbed our access from AWS. Now what we'll need to do is we'll also need to grant access now to GitHub Actions so that it can deploy things into AWS. So, and then the last step that we're going to run there is we're gonna run this SAM build and SAM deploy. Now that's very similar to what we already had locally. The only thing here, we're gonna pass these flags as well, which is no confirmed change set, which means it's not gonna ask us questions. We can't answer the questions as part of our pipeline, so we want to ignore them. We don't want to be answering yes, no to various things. And also no fail on empty change set. I think the default behavior of AWS SAM basically means that the command will fail if there are no changes found. However, we don't actually mind because we don't mind running this command when there aren't any changes because that itself is useful feedback. Now, one other thing here is I've also got this working directory property, which can be applied to any of these different run commands. And the reason I've got that is just because of my folder structure. Let me move my mouse. Because I've got actually this Cloud Resume Challenge folder nested within my other ones, but your setup might be slightly different. But that's basically all that we're going to need in order to do this SAM build and deploy within GitHub Actions. And let me just jump into the GitHub interface and let me show you how that actually looks. So. Uh, let me jump over the secrets and here we go. So if you remember last time we had our setup CID and that was a separate branch. And this little tag here is our branch. I've created a new branch now called setup CI CD infra. And if I go into that one, so I click into this uh, step or this push. Now you see last time we actually just had the test infra and now we've got build and deploy infra over on our jobs on the left hand side. And also down here, what we've also got is we've got this chained workflow. Now that bit before where we had the uh, depends on piece. So we had the needs, so needs test infra. 
That's what then creates this dependency. So we're saying here we want to run this test infra before we run the build and deploy. Now I've shown you the test infra in the last video, so I'll go ahead and have a look at this build and deploy one. Now it's build and deploy because we're actually building SAM and then we're also deploying those built artifacts into AWS. So if I have a look at the output there, we've got run SAM build, uh, that's compiling all of my different Go for the Lambda functions. And then if I look in deploy, now because I've already ran this, yeah, exactly, no changes to deploy. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to change, let's say, let's add a, add a tag to a resource and uh, send that back, then that's actually gonna apply that change now within our pipeline. Uh, and within GitHub Actions, which is really neat. And that's all you basically need in order to get SAM deploying. That's gonna deploy all of our infrastructure, but obviously since it's already deployed in my case, then that has nothing to, to build. Now, there was one other bit that I just need to show you, which is I mentioned before was the secrets. So we're passing in secrets here using this kind of template syntax, which is part of the GitHub Actions syntax. And you have this sort of object here called secrets. And that comes from the actual repository secrets. So if you, in your repo, if you go up here and you go across into settings, and then on the left-hand side, you scroll right the way down, open up secrets. What you can do is you can actually apply secrets. Uh, these could be anything, yeah, environment, configs, whatever you want, into this particular repo. In this case, what we've got here is our access key and a secret access key. So if you go up here, click new repository secret, drop in your secrets in there. And then what you can do is you can then access them within your GitHub Actions, which is precisely what we've done here in order to give AWS access to uh, AWS SAM so that we can actually build and deploy. Okay, so that actually wraps up the part where we are now deploying our infrastructure from GitHub Actions. So as you can see, we are, uh, as part of our pipeline, we're deploying those resources into AWS. And hopefully from uh, in the past video, we talked about infrastructure as code. And hopefully you're starting to see now how these ideas of infrastructure as code and the CICD and the automation starts to be a good thing. And you can see how, imagine sort of within a work context or in a, a larger company context, how those different pieces of the puzzle start to make sense and, and why those things might be something that's sort of recommended to do as part of the Cloud Resume Challenge. So we're getting quite close to the CI/CD bit. We actually have just have one bit to finish off, which is to deploy our assets into our uh, S3 bucket, which is going to basically be the deployment for the front end. But that actually means that the back end deployment is now done. Our automation for the back end is done. Uh, and yeah, if you're following along with the series, then I will see you in the next video.